Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 on Nixus Gaming. We are here in Sanctuary where I had no idea what I was going to do for this episode. And I think now I've come up with a few things we can do. Uh, we're pretty much done with everything that we want to do for now in the base game. And we're about ready to move on into the DLC. But I'm a stickler for my way of doing things. I don't want to move into the DLC this episode so I had to... Find some stuff on the fly because the quests that I was doing last time went a lot faster than I thought they would. We got six of them done in one episode. Like, I thought six would take at least two episodes, but no, it was really fast. Uh, anyways, what we're going to start with today is we got a conversation with Dance here that should max out his affinity. I think last time we ended off with like 972 affinity. And we needed a thousand to max him out. I used console to check. Uh, and all it took to max him out was getting in a suit of power armor. Because he likes you getting into power armor. And then I just changed the paint of it over to a free paint job. And then I changed it back. And he loves it when you're modifying power armor. So yeah, he's uh, maxed out now. Let's see what he has to say. Hey. Go ahead. Did you have time for that personal matter? Sounds important. Go ahead. It is important, but I don't even know where to begin. There's so much I wanted to say. Well, take a deep breath and start from the beginning. I'll try. I've spent my entire life, or at least what I perceive as my life, following a plan to shape my own future. But since my banishment, I feel lost. Almost like I exist without purpose. For the first time since that moment I signed up with the Brotherhood. I don't have all the answers. I don't have a plan. And it scares the hell out of me. It's impossible to plan your life. <laughs> hell, I didn't expect to wake up 200 years into the future. Yet you've been able to roll with every punch that's been thrown at you. Don't you understand? Everything I had, everything I knew is gone. In the span of a few hours, my identity was ripped from me and my world turned upside down. At least what you had was something tangible, something real. Your wife, your son, they were living, breathing humans who loved you and cared for you. Those sons of bitches who created me couldn't even be bothered to implant memories of having siblings or parents. I don't even know how much of my own past is artificial and how much is real. Can you even imagine that? I started out as nothing. And I've ended up as nothing. And I don't know what the hell to do about it. So this is obviously going off the base game where he does actually get banished from the Brotherhood and he doesn't become Elder or anything. And he literally is nothing afterwards. But uh, in our game, he's the Elder because of mods. But um, snap out of it, buddy. Snap out of it, Dance. Self-pity is just going to make things worse. Is it? <sighs> I suppose you're right. Maybe I'm just missing the point. My life's starting over. And I need to come to terms with everything I've lost and everything I've gained, which includes something important you've made me realize. I don't know if it's friendship or an anomaly in my programming. After all, I'm not really human, but whatever it is. I can't deny that I'm feeling closer to you than anyone else I've ever met. I feel the same way, Dance. I'm only hoping it's more than just friendship. I'm sorry, I, I can't right now. I'm not ready for something like that. The search for answers about myself has been difficult, and I'm afraid I've given you the wrong impression about how I feel. I think the best thing to do is forget we had this conversation and to simply remain friends. Oh, don't worry, Dance. You'll fall in line like the rest of them. Uh, when you reach max affinity with Dance, you get the Know Your Enemy perk. And Know Your Enemy. Let's see what it does. Gotta scroll all the way down to it. We got so many perks. Look at all of that. Wait, uh, did I... Did I pass it? JKL? There we go. Know Your Enemy. 
We deal 20% more damage against Feral Ghouls, Super Mutants, and Synths with this perk. And with that, I think we are ready to give Dance a break. Uh, let's see. Do we want to switch to X688, Curry, Kate, or Strong? Those are our four options. We haven't done anything with Strong yet. Curry and Kate are partial again? affinity. Uh, Kate should actually almost be maxed out. But then X688, it always throws me off that these two sleep in the same room because I walk in and I see two red jackets. Like, what the hell? Twinsies. Um, but X688, he is a faction companion. And the only faction companion I haven't gotten the perk for. So I think we're going to actually find him and get his affinity up wherever he sleeps. I guess his bed got moved to the third house. Over here, we got a caravan party going on there. Let's see, that's June. Kind of awkward that June Long and his... Their, their husband and wife, right? June and Marcy. That's kind of awkward. They sleep in separate houses. Damn, buddy. Excuse no me. wonder he's depressed. Yeah, we're going to go with this guy for a little bit. I really don't know a lot about this guy. He's one of the more elusive companions. Ready for the next mission, sir? Let's move out. Right behind you, sir. Why is Dance going to the Pridwin? Can I not keep Dance here anymore because he's elder? Dance. Is that the deal? Ready to continue our mission, soldier. Ready. Hold on. Roger that. You have the training and... Don't mistake my time. Hold on, send X6 to here, and then let's command talk, dismiss, and he just goes straight to the Pridwin. That's a little lame. I can't keep him here with all my other companions. Oh well. Hey, wake back up, buddy. Come on, hurry it up. Ready for the next mission, sir? I am ready for the next mission. Yes, I Let's am. Right behind you, sir. Uh, what I was saying is he is one of the more elusive companions because he's the Institute companion and most people end up blowing up the Institute in their playthrough. So they will almost always lose him as the companion and it makes sense three out of four endings you blow up the institute so three out of four endings you don't get to keep this guy but you also have to play a few of the institute main quests and if you i think most people will probably uh, fall into one of the other quest lines before they even get this guy as a companion i don't think i've ever maxed out his affinity, known what his perk is, or seen any of the conversations with him. Even when you're just adventuring with him, he's a very monotone, let's just get the mission done, kill some stuff and get out kind of guy. He doesn't express anything. He's a courser. He's not supposed to. So I think it'll be interesting hey, having yeah. him as a companion. Excuse me. Here you go. Oh, he gave me some fusion cells. How do you feel about us? I think our relationship would improve if you'd start taking your role with the Institute more seriously. That was all I had. Sure. Oh, and also, it, uh, I shouldn't have him as a companion, in all honesty, but I have a mod that lets me keep him as a companion even after I blow up the Institute. So yeah, that's why he's still here and happy to be with me. Uh, I think he also likes it when I get in and out of power armor. Just like old Dance does. And I've done that a good bit with him around. This is going to be fun. Yeah, see, he likes that. So he should already have some brownie points saved up just from being around Sanctuary when I've been doing that. So that's huh? pretty nice. Uh, we do have one more thing we got to do with the Brotherhood. And thinking about it, I'm not sure if I can even... Fast travel to the Brotherhood with him as my companion without everyone killing him. I guess we'll find out, but uh, we never made the reactor coolant, so we gotta go still find two antifreeze for that. 
So, the, before we go anywhere, I'm gonna try and check some of these merchants around here. Something up? I don't think the dock over there is gonna sell antifreeze, but there's a I'll chance a sure. uh, yeah, yeah. Carla might. So, let's pop in here, go over to junk. I can't remember what it's called. It might literally just be called antifreeze. But I I think it might also have the brand name in it, which is Super Thaw or something. But I don't see it in her menu at all. So she doesn't she definitely doesn't have it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll sit in Mama Murphy's chair and wait till daytime so that all of our merchants are out. There we go. Uh, I think only yes. the Vault Tech rep and Riley are going to have a chance of having it. You know what? Uh, Tina and I'm Ronnie don't tend to sell Look a lot of junk, so. Here in sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepared what for the you future. You never let me buy from you until you go through your spiel. Let's see. Antifreeze. Antifreeze. He has no antifreeze. They didn't tell me much. What about you, Riley? Got some stuff for sale. Care to have a look? Sure. Let me show you what I've got. She has a Braxo cleaner. But it doesn't look like she has antifreeze. Okay. So that's fun. That means we're going to have to go look for some. And I think, because we need two bottles, there are a lot of locations that only have one bottle. But I'd rather go somewhere that has two. And I want to say Dunwich Borers has two. And that way we won't have to go to two different areas, you know? Yeah, it says there are two of them down below, quote, where the raiders are. I'm assuming that means just at the bottom of the quarry here. Of course, that does mean we have to go through all of these guys to get it. We're not alone. I think I hit him just there. Oh, yeah, he's on the move. All right, let's uh, just move in, shall we? Okay, maybe I didn't hit him because he's still at... Po oh, he's a veteran. Okay, that would explain that, kind of. Got a guy in power armor, too. This... I remember this being a dangerous place now with a lot of raiders in it. need to start using bats more. I've gotten into the groove with this rifle that I don't think I need to use bats, but it still definitely helps, you know? Damn, they threw that, like, all the way up there. Can I jump across here? Nope. It's okay, I haven't fallen all the way down yet. Okay... I don't know where the guy with power armor went. But he's somewhere around here. Let's just work our way back down into the bottom. That way they all know where we are and can fire down. A central... Oh! I found the guy with power armor. See, it's just so much easier with this rifle when I get up in their face and can just do that, you know? But it's also a lot more dangerous. Oh, that's X688. Don't want to shoot him. Alright, we got like three things left. One's a turret. And 
and the other guys are like all the way up at the top. I think for now I'm just gonna start focusing on looking for this antifreeze somewhere. Did it mean like down below as in in the quarry or like I'm just down ready. here? Because I was kind of hoping for just down here. I don't really want to go into the quarry. Oh, but I guess I will. I already came through and started shooting and killing all these guys, so... Rip me, right? Might as well go in and finish the job. All this for some antifreeze, right? I wouldn't be surprised if they start following us in from the entrance there, too, so... X6, you got my back, right? This does look like an area where antifreeze can spawn. I saw some gas canisters, which I think is a good sign. Keep your eyes open. I'll take that You're stuff. Here. I guess I should have read more into it when I saw that it said, Oh, it's just down below where the raiders are. Completely forgetting that down below can mean literally all the way to the bottom. It's not in there. How did that not do damage to you, dude? That was literally a direct hit. Like, you're insane. Right in between the fence slots. You're trying the same thing. It doesn't work. It's not going to be in a chem cooler. I'm pretty sure it should just be laying around somewhere. Unless plot twist, I actually have no idea what it looks like. And that's why I can't find it anywhere. And I'm passing it up everywhere. That wouldn't surprise me either. This would be the last area I would say is, quote, down below where the raiders are. Looking for some antifreeze. It really shouldn't be that hard to find, right? In before I actually cut out all of this bit, because it's not actually down here. I see, now we're to the area where the ghouls are. The ghouls aren't even alive anymore, I guess I can... Oh, nope, there they go. Here they come. Oh my god. Apparently the air is very flammable down here as well. And see, at this point we're past where the raiders are. There's no antifreeze. I will be right back while I find the antifreeze here. Okay, so I could not find it at Dunwich Bores, so I found another location. There's a Red Rocket truck stop right about here, in between Wilson Atoma Toys and the Quincy Ruins and the Quincy Quarries. And uh, literally just here on the shelf, there's not just two, but three bottles, and I think there's a fourth bottle somewhere too. I was told there were four bottles here, but I only need two of them, so I don't really care for looking for that last one. 
The only problem with coming here is um, all the enemies that like to flood this part of the map, as you can tell. Like, you got all the super mutants from there. You got some of the gunners from over here. They're, they're just all over the place in this part of the map. So I'm just going to try and run a little bit away. But I'm being followed by this guy here. Oh, a warlord. You know what? I'll, I'll make time for a warlord. Why not? I don't think I've killed a warlord before. Man, that was real tough. He actually took a lot of damage from that. I'm gonna make this as painful as possible. Oh, what enemy do I have back here now? I'm just trying to get away from enemies so I can fast travel at this point. This is a raider. Are there more raiders over here? Okay, can I fast travel? I don't want to fast travel to there. I want to fast travel back to Sanctuary if I can, because that's where I have all the materials now to make the reactor coolant. Okay. It's hard to think about. Now that that's dealt like with, sometimes I can remember. Let's pop sometimes into here. I think it was in like miscellaneous or utility. Yeah, there we go. And we can make exactly one. Did I just get radiation from making that? I heard the uh, Geiger counter pop up. Oh no, Grey Garden is under attack. Here's the moment of truth, though. Will they attack me? At the Pridwin. If I have X688 with me. Everyone seems nice right now. Hey guys, do you like my new companion? We may have liberated the Commonwealth, but our job oh, they seem is far perfectly fine with him here, but actually isn't Ingram like down at the bottom? I think we need to go down to the airport. I was for sure thinking they would attack me since I had him here. I mean, he's literally an institute courser. I'm pretty sure the railroad would attack me if I brought him into the railroad. <laughs> Alright, maybe we'll take him to go get stomped on by Liberty Prime. He does not like being here. I just heard him say, like, you can't be serious. We're in the Brotherhood base right now? What are you thinking? Okay, where is she right now? Last time I found her, she was just walking around here, outside of her power armor suit. I don't see her here. She might have actually gone back up to the Pridwin, maybe. Because I think when I saw her walking this way, she was walking over towards... Oh, here she is. Never mind. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. I could still use that reactor coolant. Do you have any? Yep, here you go. Yep, this is the stuff. Good work. Here you go. This should cover your acquisition costs. Thanks again for helping us out, Sentinel. The entire maintenance crew appreciates what you're doing. She gives us a hundred caps for that, which really isn't worth it at all. But we, we did it once, and that's good enough for me. 
Uh, it's one of those things, like I've said, that you can never get rid of in your quest log. It's just going to be here forever, and I'm never doing it again. Okay, so we got about 20 minutes left in the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to do a cycle through all the Minutemen settlements I have just to see... If I have any new quests that I haven't done from them. I still have a list of like seven or eight things I got to do from the Minutemen. But it's just so hard to actually trigger them and get them to pop up. that I really don't care about finishing them. But if I can get some to trigger, then I will do them. So that's the plan for now. Be right back. Okay, so I was cycling through the settlements, and I got up here, and I got this random miscellaneous objective here. Help defend the checkpoint, which I don't think I've ever done before. I don't know what this is. I'm going to check it out. I guess that's the checkpoint there. I mean, this is at least something for us to do this episode. What is going on? We got gunners here. Oh, this is like a brotherhood thing, I guess. Okay. I guess it's a random miscellaneous thing that can show up now that the brotherhood is taken over. Can you stop moving? Okay, or did we did we do it? Did we help defend the checkpoint? I, I guess so, okay. Oh, back to cycling. Okay, so I've cycled through all of my settlements here. I even came down here to Murkwater at this pathetic excuse for a piece of land here. And there is nothing new going on with the Minutemen. But don't worry, there is one more thing that I can think to do to play out this episode a little bit. Uh, a while back, we found two messages in a bottles. Uh, one was by the castle, and the other was by the Pridwin, I believe, by the Boston Airport. That's actually a whole series of messages that you can get. I think there's four or five of them. Uh, we're going to go hunt down a few of those and see how it goes. Each one of us, though, is going to bring us to a new location. And I don't know if all the locations are small. But uh, we'll do as many of those as we can this episode. Uh, the first one we're going to is at a place called the Crater House. And it's kind of near this Museum of Witchcraft in Salem. I've never actually been here. I guess there's a bunch of children of Adam here, and I don't know if they're going to be hostile or not. Who's there? Uh, they are hostile. This is Crater House. Oh, yeah. Um, their weapons do radiation damage, by the way. <laughs> Which is, uh... It, it's a lot of radiation damage, as you can tell. And they are just laying into us with it too uh vats please vats please vats vats what are you doing you're just vats my my vats would not activate and oh my god like all my health went away to radiation there so i i think i have another plan we're gonna rat away and then we're gonna see what a rat x does here a single rad X for now. You can uh, tell how bad this is. Oh, I'm taking 42 instead of 60. And it's still there, still just slamming me with all the radiation. This is so bad. There's only four of them. How is this like the hardest thing? I have half a mind to just let X6 deal with it. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. There's one. And we got a level up from that. Okay. Uh, there's one that's kind of isolated himself over here. Oh, there's more than four. There's a lot more here. Dude. I didn't realize this would be so rough. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, we'll, we'll make it through here. It's going to be difficult, but we'll make it through here. Oh, that's X6 there. Oh, okay. I don't want to get, like, in all their crossfire. 
because my health will disappear in seconds, dude. Like that. That's not a good spot to be. I can't even get close. I don't even have, like, a second to slow down and aim. I basically have to find the ones that are isolated, like this guy. Okay, 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 that's not good. Now let's get the rat away, too. Just pop both of those at once. I don't know what that grenade is, but that was really bad, too, when that hit me. Okay, I think I've dealt with most of the children of Adam. Are any of these hitting? Thank you. Yeah, all I see left is this one turret here. Okay. Well, wasn't this a fun area? I think this is the first time we've actually fought Children of Adam. And it's also one of the times I've fought them in general. One of the first times. Because honestly, like in the DLC in Far Harbor, you come across a lot of them. But they're peaceful to you for the most part. Until you decide to blow them up. And then, like, you come across them in the Glowing Sea, but they're peaceful to you as well. Like... I, you don't usually fight these guys, but they are definitely a force to be reckoned with, apparently. What's going on on their terminal here? Ford. Lawns. The beacon. We have sent our faithful to the tower on the cliff. They will, re uh, they will create a beacon to call forth Adam's children to rejoin us in the glow. Even the heretics shall be made to participate in the great division. Let us bask in the divine glow of Adam. All right, let's deactivate some turrets that are already forcefully deactivated. Like Might find something okay. Here. So there's a couple of things that we want here. First off, there is a magazine for us to grab. Uh, there's a few other things like safes. And then, of course, there's the message in the bottle that we're looking for. Uh, let's also hit that level up while I remember it. I think we were going to get the second penetrator perk. Yeah. Okay. Quick and easy there. Uh, the magazine, it just says it's like on the lower level somewhere. And I would think that means like the lower level of this middle building. But this doesn't lead anywhere. Just leads out here. So I don't think that's what it means. I would assume it'd be like in this middle building though, the magazine, because this seems like the most important part, you know? But we'll just uh, keep taking a look around in these other buildings. I don't think I've been up here. This is just a little roof section. Uh, this lower level, maybe? Yeah, this lower level. That is a Wasteland Survival Guide. 5% less damage from insects. Cool. Oh, aren't I supposed to, like, not take radiation from water? That's kind of uncool that I take it anyway here. I guess it's just that irradiated. Okay, the message in the bottle, I think, is to the north-northeast here, somewhere on the beach. It's either north northeast or south southeast. Just along the shore. Oh, there it is. Trapped for days. I've been trapped in this boat for days. There was some kind of tidal wave that came from the west. It flipped us over. Looks like I'm the only one that made it. If you can consider my current situation making it. I somehow still have air to breathe. Something something that means the boat must still blank. And, of course, all of these usually send you out to an actual little treasure, too, that you can go get. So let's swim out to that, and then we'll be on our way to the next message in a bottle. 
probably going to be like sunken down to the bottom of the water here. Boy, am I glad there aren't any water enemies in Fallout. Three oh eight rounds, frag grenade, pulse mine. Okay, cool. I don't think we can travel fast travel while we're in water, can we? Uh, I'm just gonna come over to this boat and try it just to be safe. Also, I don't know where the next location that we're going to is, so I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, so the next note in the sequence was actually the one at the castle all the way down here. We already got it, so we're going to skip that. The third note in the sequence is down near the Warwick Homestead, just south of it. And it will be another location that we're going to go to. It's the wreck of the FMS Northern Star. So it's a shipwreck that we're going to. And of course, there is more loot for us to grab there. There's a bobblehead there and a magazine. So some good stuff here. But the... um. Oh, I guess that's it. Yeah, okay. That's definitely what we're looking for there. But the... The message in a bottle says it's by a lighthouse somewhere. I don't even know on that. It says it's located near the lighthouse south of the wreck. Okay, it's actually on the other side. That's fine. Uh, we got to deal with one of our favorite enemy types here, mud crabs. It looks like there's a lot of stuff up top as well. I don't like the bottom of it. This just looks like a horror movie waiting to happen. That's it. And a lot of radiation too. I'm just going to work my way up to the upper level, see what's going on there. Listen to your counter. These are already dead. I didn't want to do a stim pack. I wanted to do a rat away. Alright, this is a hostile place. The turret was hostile, so... Raiders, I'm assuming. I guess we kind of caught them in the middle of a battle with... Where did that guy... What the fuck? Was that guy a magician? He just disappeared. There's the magazine. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. Better prices with a vendor. Dude, that guy like went around the corner and he just disappeared somehow. Was it you? Did you go through the storage crate somehow? Amazing. Alright. Deal with him. He was... what? He was speaking a different language. These guys speak a different... are they speaking German? Okay, there's something going on with this location. I don't know what they're saying, but I guess this was a German ship. Hi. Hi. Now I'm really interested in, like, the lore of this location. Rags. What's up, Rags? Come on, come on. Let, let's reload here and take them out. Okay, well, that was Rags, I guess, leader of these German raiders. Where's this radio I'm hearing? There it is. There's a mini nuke. Let's see what's going on with these guys. I didn't expect to hear German in a Fallout game. And yes, I'm just guessing on this. Eventually, I will get it. Eventually, I always get it. I'm in. Oh, oh my god. I'm glad that stayed there. Okay, it's just spotlight and turret control. It's no lore that we're looking for. That's fine, I guess. 
Let's see, there's the bobblehead, agility yes. bobblehead. Agility has been increased by one. That's nice, and this is a shortcut up and down. That's the lighthouse over there that has the uh, message in a bottle next to it. But I'm going to look out for all the other loot around this place before I go there. There's still an enemy around the corner here. Maybe? There's an enemy here somewhere, apparently. There you are. So the one terminal I found doesn't have lore. And I would like to know why there's a German ship here. Doesn't make me mad, per se, but I'm just curious, you know? There's got to be a reason. Did I... Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm down here now. Uh, there's a fusion core, I think, in one of these generators we can grab. Yep, right here. That was part of the plan. I meant to come down here so I could grab that. Uh, what other loot is there around here? I think we almost got all of it. Got the mini nuke, got the bobblehead. There is a stealth boy on a toilet under the upper shack near the bow of the ship. Alright, so let's go grab that real quick and then we're all done here. We can head to the lighthouse. But there is so much radiation here. I really don't like walking through the, um, the bottom area. It is just like a nightmare scenario down there. Uh, there's a terminal here. Maybe this has something for us. Legendary. Respected. Qualities. Childlike. Literally, travelers underwent marvelous seclusion. There we go. It's just more spotlight and turret control. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to learn anything about this place. Uh, it said it was under the shack at the bow of the ship, right? On a toilet under the upper shack near the bow of the ship. So this is the bow, right? And this would be the shack. So on a toilet under the shack here. Or maybe like actually down here. I'm about to jump in that water. For nothing, there's nothing here. Love that. How do I actually... There we go. Okay, so it definitely wasn't in there. Unless the bow is actually the other side. I might be dumb. The bow might be the other side. I don't know ship terms. I don't know if you guys have watched our playthrough of Raft that I was streaming a while back. I have no idea what the nautical terms of a sailing vessel are. Okay, so toilet under this shack. Stealth boy. There we go. And now we're good just to make our way over to that... um. That lighthouse. I'm going to try and just slide down here. There we go. There's more Mario Lurks around here. This place looks really inhospitable. Like, I can understand why I've never tried going to this part of the Commonwealth before. Especially with all the Mario Lurks like that. I don't know if there's going to be anything special here at the lighthouse seems to have included its loot with um, with the wreck of the ship up there, so I would know if there's more. Those eggs haven't hatched, so, nope, there they go. Yep, I, I had to say something, right? I just had to say something. Are they coming? Can they come up the stairs after me? I don't even know, man. I do not know. This is the top here. Oh, no, not quite the top. There's some outside stairs here. Ten millimeter auto pistol. Dead person. Safe. 308 rounds. And let's check the safe. Got a lot of good stuff in here. 
Cool, cool. Okay, so the message in the bottle was obviously down at the bottom, probably outside somewhere. No, just punch these things. Don't waste the ammo on them. I hear another one? No. Let's oh yeah, I did. They're outside. There's one like way over there. I'm just looking for a message in a bottle somewhere. Might actually be on the lighthouse island. If you call this an island. Why is my gun? When will they learn? I can't shoot. Does it think I'm in the water right now? Okay, I think it did think I was in the water right now. Or just then. I still don't see... Did you fall, X688? Is that why you're down? You fell off the side? How pathetic. Wait. Did you hear something? Alright, I'm about to have to look up where this message in a bottle is. Is that it right there? No, that's just a dead fish. Forgot about these guys. They're still following me. Don't forget to check your ammo levels. All right, yeah, I'll uh, go ahead and look it up and try and find where this is. It says it's located near the lighthouse, south of the wreck. That's all it says. Bottle can be found on a sandbar with a red buoy directly west of the lighthouse. Directly west of the lighthouse. Sandbar with a red buoy right over there. There it is. Not going well. I'm screwed. Well, I'm glad I took the time to find that. And I don't understand how I got a location of treasure out of that. But I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go for the treasure. Uh, if there's just one more bottle for us to find, then I'll probably go ahead and go for that and just knock all of these out. But if there's two more, I'm probably going to stop there. The locations at least seem pretty small so far where they're actually at. And we've gotten some good stuff from them. We've gotten a couple more magazines and a bobblehead. So that's going pretty good. Uh, let's see, it's here, but it's probably further down here, right? What is this? Oh, this is a pipe. Okay. Is there a way into said pipe? I see a little bit better if I do this? A little bit. I don't think there's a way in. Was it actually just floating at the top? Because usually the marker is further down, you know? This is weird. Okay, just go directly down from here. That looks important. I am confused on where this one is. I'm at the marker. Or underneath it. Uh, it says, diving below and opening a hatch door in the waste pipe. There's a hatch door somewhere in the waste pipe that I gotta open. Is it just on top and I'm blind? Because this is definitely the waste pipe. Oh, wait. Now it's marked over here. Okay. There we go. We made it. 
I wanted that frag mine. There we go. I hate that you drift away from stuff underwater. It's kind of annoying. All right, uh, let me look in, look at these messages. The next one in sequence would be the Boston Airport. And then there are two more messages after that. And I don't think we have time to get two more, so maybe we'll come back and we'll grab the last two at some point if we have time. But I think for now, we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. Uh, let me... Can I fast travel from water? I'm still not sure if I can. I'd like to fast travel back to Sanctuary. I can. Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I'm satisfied with what I got done today. Um, next time, we are going to start picking up with the DLC. I think the order we're going to do them in... There's con contraptions, which really doesn't add any quests or anything. It just adds stuff you can build at your settlements. So I'm not worried about that. We're probably going to do the Vault 88, I think it is. It it's just a settlement uh, DLC. It gives you a big vault settlement that you can build. But there's a good bit of exploring in there that I want to do. So we'll probably start with that. I hope to knock that out in a single episode. And then we're probably going to move you. into the it's Mechanist like DLC, because that one takes place almost entirely... Actually, I think it does take place entirely in the Commonwealth. And I hope to grab more magazines and stuff while we do that. And that would also be a good time if we have extra time to finish getting these messages in a bottle, too. After that, we're going to start venturing outside of the Commonwealth. We're going to hit Far Harbor, and then we're going to hit up Nuka World... And then we'll come back and we'll hit all the Creation Club stuff. And I mean all of it. We did it all in Skyrim. We're going to do it all in Fallout 4. But that's the current plan. And we're going to start that next time. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.